Hello everyone and welcome to the video for today. I rolled out this clay in a medium setting on my pasta machine. This is a dough colored clay um, with a more yellowish tint to it so that I can use it for a gingerbread house, which we are going to do today. I'm giving this clay some texture first. I used a touche breath and then I am using this texture tool that I made myself. I will leave a link for that one in the info box below so you can find uh, the video on how I made that one. So I'm giving this clay a lot of textures for the gingerbread house. When I am happy with the texture, I am taking some cling wrap here and I'm placing that really nicely over my clay. Um, just cutting off the excess so I can use that later. And I'm just smushing that over the clay. I designed these cookie cutters in Fusion 360 and printed them on my FDM printer. I will leave a link in the info box below for um, the download link for these cookie cutters. So if you have a 3D printer or you have a friend that does have a 3D printer, you can use these. Just squeeze them really, really firmly into the clay so you have the uh, shape of them. You need two of this size and two of the other size. So you have a back side of the house, a front side of the house. This is the roof and the other one was the sides of the house. If you don't have a 3D printer, I will leave a um, PDF file with the sizes of the little house. Then you can print that out and cut it out and then uh, cut out the shapes for the house instead of using the uh, cookie cutter. Uh, here I am just making sure that everything is cut out of the clay here. And I'm also going to take a little time to clean up the cuts just to make it look really neat and nice. When I am happy with the cake pieces here, then I am going to take some of my soft pastels. First of all, I am using some light brown here and dusting all my pieces lightly with this light brown one. Then I use this darker brownish, red brownish one, mostly on the edges of the uh, houses, house pieces, um, a little on the middle, but mostly on the edges. When I am happy with the coloring, I am going to bake this. Bake it to the uh, instructions on your clay and I give it around 20 minutes. When they are baked, I wait till they cool down and then I have all the pieces for the little house. Um, I'm going to cut off the little door here so I can glue it on in a opened position. You don't need to do that, but um, I'm gonna do that. Then I am going to glue the pieces together with some um, super glue gel and I am placing the sides of the house on the outside of the front and the back of the house like this. And then I'm just going to glue everything together here. And I'm also going to glue the roofs on and I am just popping them up on the roof so they are touching each other. None of them are overlaying the other side. 
because they are equally long. So if you overlay one side with the other, then one side will be shorter than the other. So put them up together uh, to the middle here, like you see I do right here. And I will fill that with icing later so you don't see this uh, opening. Now I just glue in the door and then the house is put together. When the glue has hardened, it is ready for the decoration and I'm going to use my Modena paste uh, for making the icing on the house. I'm placing the house here on a uh, icicle with some double sided tape on so that I can uh, turn it around without putting my fingers into what I have made. Then I am taking a tiny bit of my Modena paste and placing that here on my glass plate and a tiny bit of my white paint mixing that together otherwise it will be a milky um, translucency thingy color this gets so you need to put some kind of color in there so I'm just mixing that really really well then it is time for decorating the house I'm using the Modena paste as the icing and placing it on the house where I find it is uh, going to look good. Uh, and then you can see on top here I have a few things standing candy likes. I have a few videos on different kind of Christmas candies. I will see if I can link to some of them. Uh, again in the info box below or you can uh, go look for them in my uh, videos. I think I have a playlist with Christmas stuff in there. You would be able to find it there. And then I'm just decorating it just like I feel like. You can decorate this little house just like you feel like. Maybe you have something you think it could uh, be candy like then you can use that or you could go and make a little candy to place on there maybe you don't even want candy on your your house and just want some icing you can do that as well if you don't have modena paste like i do here then you can use some um, femo liquid and mix that together with some white uh, clay and some white paint and then make a nice um, icing like thing. I have a video on that as well. I'm going to try to link to that one also. So that is all there is. You just have to let this Modena paste dry really good so that it is getting hardened and then everything should stay in place and that is all there is. So that was all there was for today. We made this cute little gingerbread house and the Modena paste worked perfect for this one. Um, I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.